Hi, um, so I was going to talk a bit about lactose intolerance, or at least lactose tolerance. Um, practically every mammal in the world has um, a gene on uh, chromosome 2 called MCM6. And what this gene does is for young mammals who are still drinking their mother's milk, when it's time for them to be weaned, they start to dislike milk. It gives them stomach pains and stuff, exactly what lactose intolerance does to humans. Um, and it's standard, all animals do this, and it's important because it makes sure that the older uh, offspring of some animal don't kick out the younger offspring to stop them from getting to their mother's milk. So it's a natural thing and it's good. But uh, we humans tend to think of things the other way around. We assume we're lactose tolerant and people who are intolerant are somehow broken, but they're not. The norm used to be that all humans were lactose intolerant as soon as we got to be about a year or so old. Um, what happened was that when we started to get into farming and particularly farming large dairy animals, sheep, goats, maybe cows, uh, at the end of the uh, Paleolithic era, um, it started to become useful for humans to be able to drink milk, eat cheese and butter and things like that. Because in the event of a, a horrible famine, um, if you weren't able to consume milk, butter and cheese, the only way to survive as a, as a farmer would be to slaughter your animals and eat their meat. And then when the famine was over, you had no, no flock of goats anymore or whatever, and that would be very bad news. So the very few people who had a mutation in the MCM6 gene on chromosome 2, I have to write that down, <laughs> um, were the lucky ones because they became lactose tolerant into adulthood, which meant they could enjoy the milk, cheese and butter and not have to kill their animals. And therefore more of them survived and more of them exist today. But if you look at a map of the world and where people are more lactose intolerant than others, we find that lactose intolerance is very rare in Europe and the UK and places like that. Very, very common in Africa, South America and China, where it's almost universal. And that's because in those places they didn't discover uh, animal farming until long after they had things like cities and things like that, which would provide other means to get them through a famine by getting food from other people, essentially, and trading it.